Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. We're continuing on with my color series where I chat about my favorite products in a specific color category. We've done so many in this series already, so you can go check out those videos if you are interested. And in today's video, I am focusing on teal turquoise makeup. These are the products that I felt like were either too blue to go in the green video last time, or they're too green to go in my upcoming blue video. So I wanted to give them their own category, similar to when I did like peach and coral, kind of getting away from that like orange and pink and finding that in between. That's what I wanted to do with teal and turquoise. Now, if you feel like anything I mentioned today would have more suited the green or blue video, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> it's really not that serious. This is just my own fun little way to go through my collection, get maybe re-inspired to use certain things and just feel really excited about a particular color. Or maybe if you're looking for specific options in this color category, maybe I'll have some things that you'd wanna get. As always, I'll link everything that I can down below. Not everything is guaranteed to still be available, but I'll link what I can. And also I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok and probably YouTube shorts. If not, it's coming soon by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories today go, I don't know where this choker's from. It's very old, but these earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about my favorite teal and turquoise makeup. So I don't have that many complexion things like cheek products just because that's not really a color I personally use for blush. And as far as highlight goes, I really didn't have hardly any that I felt like were like a true like tealy turquoise. They're pretty much all either blue or green. So I don't have that many, but I do have a couple. And now even though I don't really wear a turquoise blush, I do have one. It's in the Fairy Blush Palette by Likely Makeup. Um, it's right here, Aquamarine. If you're someone who wants a turquoise blush, this is the one for you. It's a fantastic formula. It really does blend onto the cheek so nicely, but I do use this as an eyeshadow from time to time, and it's just so creamy, so lovely. It's such a beautiful palette. Moving on to highlighter, I felt like Taffy Tart from Bitter Lace Beauty was kind of more on the turquoisey realm. It is like quite blue as well, but I figured if I'm gonna talk about any highlighter, this is probably one of the only ones I can talk about. It's pretty like, subtle on the skin. It's not like as pigmented looking, but when the light hits it, it does give you that nice like sea foamy turquoisey kind of flash. And I've had these for years and they still smell like sweet tarts. They are fantastic. <laughs> so super sparkly and shifty and colorful and wonderful. I really should use these more. Maybe I'll keep them in my drawer so I can use them more. And also in my Blend Bunny Noctilucent Highlight Palette, there is one in particular that I feel like also pulls kind of turquoisey. It's the shade here, Transient. It's kind of like sea foamy, turquoisey. Again, it's not like in your face turquoise, but really picking through my collection, I felt like it fit this category better than other things. It's again, a little bit more of that like translucent base, super sparkly, shiny. I wish it would capture on camera the way it is in real life. Like it has this really pretty kind of sea foamy turquoise vibe to it. It's so super cute. And that, my friends, is all I have for like cheek products. We're gonna move on to eyeshadow now. I realized I really didn't have like as big of a pile as I thought I was going to. I just assumed I'd have five million things to talk about, but really I don't, because most things that I would have wanted to talk about, I was like, oh no, that's definitely green, or no, that's definitely blue. Um, but I did narrow it down to 15 palettes that have some of my absolute favorite teals and turquoises. I'm sure I'm forgetting some things. Again, it's, it's not that deep. I was just going based on my own vibes and trying to recall and share with you my actual favorites, not just every single teal and turquoise in my collection because we'd be here all day, every day. These are just my favorites. Starting off, uh, the palette that got away. I'm so mad that all the features and palettes are getting discontinued. It just, it breaks my heart. The Electro Turquoise palette is just a dream. It's literally me today. <laughs> the orange with the teal. I love orange and teal together. I hate orange and blue together just because living in Gator Nation, Central Florida, college football nonsense, but I do love orange and turquoise together. This is what she looks like in all of her glory. She is beauty, she is grace. I love this palette. And we have three tealy turquoisey shades to talk about. Look how beautiful they are. So gorgeous, I love that shimmer so much. It looks so glassy on the eyes. I feel like personally offended that they're discontinuing all the features and palettes. Like they were such a good start to Kaleidos' brand and I hate to see them like not only not continuing it, but to completely get rid of it, it like breaks my heart. I wish they would have continued keeping up with this series because it's just fantastic. I love the packaging and 
I don't know. I feel like they haven't been doing as exciting of colors lately. Everything's been a little more subdued with their quads and stuff. Like I love their multi-chrome pencils, but give me the futurism palettes or something like the flower punk. I need like another cool palette from Kaleidos like really bad because these are so pretty. Speaking of the flower punk, <laughs> I have the Flower Punk palette from Kaleidos right here, and I have these two to talk about. I love this palette. It's one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. I think it's so good. Just look how beautiful those are. These ones lean a little more green compared to the Electro Turquoise, and they're so super pretty. I just love that sparkle. Oh man, one of my all-time favorite palettes with like tealy turquoisey shades. It's the Melt Muerte palette. This is also the one that got away. I wish this could have been a permanent fixture in their repertoire of palettes. These three over here. Yes, ma'am. Still one of my all-time favorites in my collection as well. It's just such a mouth-wateringly good palette. Look how amazing those are. They're so rich and beautiful and amazing and everything that I wanted more. I love this palette. <laughs> Moving on to Shroud Cosmetics. In both the Creepy Cute and Creepy Cute 2, we have some really good shades. In the Creepy Cute, we have Creep It Real. And in the Creepy Cute 2, we have Alien Queen. I love these palettes with my whole heart. They're so pigmented and wonderful. I really like that we got that edition of Alien Queen in the second one to give us like a deeper teal to go with that shade in the first palette. I don't know. They just... They go together so well, I love them. And speaking of shroud, in my collab palette, the It's Freaking Bats, my heart, my love, my everything, I created some of my favorite tealy shades. We have Adams and we have Grimm. They're just, they're too good. They're mouthwateringly good. I'm obsessed with them. Look how pretty they are. I love them so dearly. They're so saturated and amazing and I'm just so blown away with them. They're, ugh. They're my everything. I love this palette so, so much. In the Fantasy Cosmetica Sorcerer palette, we have a couple shades in here as well. We have Polymorph and Illusion. They're like kind of hard to capture. Polymorph has a little bit more of like a bluey, tealy turquoise vibe with like a pink shift. And then Illusion is more of that like straight up tealy, blue green they're just so so pretty moving on now to odin's eye the cat's breath palette is so good similar vibes to that electro turquoise from kaleidos but with like a different twist to it we have a lot in here we have catnip and bad temper as the mats and then bling and cat star as my shimmers all four are right here on the bottom just various tones i like the shimmers in this palette a lot because they're not like as crazy saturated, they're definitely more topper vibes, but I do like that about that a lot. I think it just adds a really pretty twinkle and shine to your looks. In the Perfect World collection, between myself and Lauren's palettes specifically, there are some really good shades. Let's talk about Lauren's first in the Sea Talk palette. I actually paired both of these palettes together for my look today, kind of a planet spirit, sea talk, sea spirit kind of vibe. We have the shade Mermaid Scales. Look at it, it's so pretty. It's the very center of my lid. Also my face highlight actually, I used it for that as well. Right here, it's almost impossible to capture the shifts on camera because it's so uber sparkly in real life. It has so many different colors to it. Like I see reflex of like, mint and gold and pink and it's just it's so pretty and then in my planet spirit palette i added some more tealy shades but this time i really wanted to do ones that were leaning more green but i didn't want them to be straight up green i just wanted like tealy shades that leaned more green than blue in my shroud palette i'll even swatch them next to my shroud palette so you can kind of see so my shroud it's freaking bats ones are here and these are from planet spirit totally different vibe and that's exactly what i wanted i just i wanted to pull forth more of that green in the teal versus the blue and i'm just i love them i love i love so much i love that shimmer it's just so saturated i'm obsessed i love teal and turquoise next up from nomad cosmetics in the royal europe palette this is such a fantastic palette with so many jewel tone shades and beautiful multi-chromes, we have these two to talk about and this one. The multi-chrome's almost hard to talk about because it's like blue, teal, and purple all at the same time. But I feel like for myself, on my eyeball, it tends to lean more teal right there on the bottom of my wrist. It's so funny because like in real life right now, it kind of pulls purple, but on camera, it looks teal just because of the different angles. But yeah, I feel like first and foremost, it looks teal on my eyes. So that's why I included it in this video. It's really hard with these multi-chromes because they have a million colors in them. Like what category do they belong to? Next up, Ace Boutte in the Oceanic palette. This is a longtime favorite of mine. I specifically wanted to talk about Fuji and Mykonos. 
so cute. Definitely more of like an electric teal kind of vibe. Very bright, very out there. So lovely. I'm obsessed with this. This is such a good conglomeration of this category. It's so pretty. Next up in the Wicked Widow Beauty palette, this is the Scissor Hands 2 palette. We have a couple really lovely shades. Well, I say a couple. I think I just wanted to talk about Secret Garden, honestly. Plopped right there. It's just so rich. Definitely more of that deeper jewel-toned blue-based teal. It's so yummy. Next up, we have the Bad Witch Club palette by Give Me Glow. This is, I think, still my favorite palette they've ever done. It's just so pretty. There are three beautiful tealy shades in here right here at the bottom. They're so pretty, just so saturated and pigmented. I really like their metallics because they're just that really saturated, thicker metallic where it just gives you that just metallic eyeball. I don't have a better word for it. Finally, wrapping up the eyeshadow palette portion, we have the Lure palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And it's basically this whole row. <laughs> it's just, it's all good things on that row. I kind of just put them all right there on the side of my arm. Can you tell? <laughs> It's just so cute. I guess we can just move right into singles. I still have some space like over here. I can put some shadows. So let's move into my singles. I don't have a ton. I only have five to talk about, um, but they're very cute, aren't they? First being Mermaid Waters from Give Me Glow. I got this specifically in the Teal Nightlife palette, um, but that palette mostly just consists of singles. It's hard. It's like, do I put that with my singles or do I keep it with my palettes? In this case, I just plucked that particular shade out. I put it down here and I realized you couldn't see it. So I put it here as well. <laughs> But it's just so pretty, that like perfect ocean blue green teal. It's so sparkly and amazing. I love it. We have Looking Glass from Terra Moons. This is one of their multi-chrome shadows. This is another one similar to that Nomad one I talked about earlier. It kind of goes from like blue to green to purple to teal. Like it does a lot of different things, but I feel like first and foremost, it does pull more teal on my personal eyeball. Um, so that's why I included it here. These next two are both from the Pastel Roses. Uh, we have Zoisite and Amazonia. It's like two totally different vibes. Zoisite is the lighter one with like that more like bluey pink shift. And Amazonia is more of that true like blue green teal vibe. And last but not least, we have Jacob from Odin's Eye, one of their shimmer shadows. Definitely more of that like light green, teal, mint, sea foam kind of vibe. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. I love the way my arm looks right now. Moving into eyeliner now. First, I have two of the water activated liners from Gavisi Beauty. We have the shades Tropics and Ice Pop. They, they look exactly like they look in the pan. This one's Tropics. It's a little bit more of a, just like a mid-toned turquoise. And then Ice Pop is like a pastel neon turquoise. You just throw a little bit of water in these, activate them. They look exactly as they do in the pan. So I'm not going to swatch them today because it's messy. I have four pencils to talk about. I have this one from Odin's Eye, which they don't keep the names on the pencils. It's number four. It's probably just called mint, but I will have everything I can linked down below. And I know these are still available, so it'll be linked. But it's right there, just like a super bright pop in turquoise. So cute. The next three are all from ColourPop. Uh, first being Icebreaker more of a just another like bright turquoise i feel like this one's a little mintier compared to the odin's eye one this one is zulu it's like such a long time favorite just like such a perfect bright turquoise it's so good and last is the one that's in my waterline today this is cat suit also from ColourPop. more of just like a richer teal shade not super like light and bright i also have one liquid this is from af94 in the shade casino this is a very beautiful metallic greeny teal. It is so beautiful. I really like this formula. It glides on really, really nicely. And last but not least, I do have a couple lip products. And by couple, I literally mean couple I have two. First being Leviathan from Menagerie. I don't know if this still exists, but I still wear it from time to time. It's such a beautiful teal. So poppin', so cool. I feel like it has enough blue in it where I can wear it and not feel scary. I feel like if it was too green based, I might be a little scared of it because it is like a bolder, brighter color. Um, but I do like wearing this, it's fun. And also we have Agave Lip Clay from Kaleidos. I've worn this so many times. It's a very pretty deep teal. It's so good. I feel like these never swatch great, <laughs> but they look beautiful on the lips. They're so comfy. They go on like a liquid kind of turn into like a powdery 
like feeling once they're on the lips and dried down. Super comfy, super long lasting. These never get like cakey or dry feeling. Sometimes the menagerie ones can. I just, I usually wear a lip balm underneath everything anyways to avoid that. But yeah, those are my two teal lips that I do wear uh, from time to time. I am so sick of the words teal and turquoise now. I hope you've enjoyed me yammering on and on about this color. I think this is such a lovely shade. It is so fun and so beautiful and just, a great time to play with. I feel like it pairs with so many things very well. I do specifically love uh, like turquoise and yellow together like today. I also, again, love turquoise and orange. I just think it's so fun and I would love to hear your thoughts. Are you obsessed with any of these the way that I am? Do you love this color as much as I do? What are your favorite products in your makeup collection that fall in the teal and turquoise category? If you made it to the end of this video, of course, leave some teal and turquoise emojis. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials, you can join the Batty Bean fam. I'm Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days here as well. Also, feel free to join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get a little bat badge by your name. You'll get exclusive little emojis to use in the comments, and you'll get a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Okay, so it's fine. I'm gonna scream. I can't believe that just fell out. I'm going to smush it back into place because I will not be able to get a replacement of this. It's been quite a while since I've opened a palette and a shadow exploded on me. There's no reason for this. All right, I'm ready to be a teal monster all day long at work. It's fine.